What's going on YouTube? This is your boy The Vintage Man back with another video. You read the title. You already know what we're talking about, man. Foot Locker has made a big, big change to how a lot of things are about to go from here on out, man. So if you're new to the channel right now, what I need you to do is subscribe. Right now, we're going to grind to 20,000 subscribers, man. We're less than 600 subs away. If you want to help your boy out, go ahead and like the video, share the video, and comment down below some feedback on the video topic today. Also, follow me over on Instagram at World. The link will always be in the description box below. Click the link, hit the follow button over there, and enjoy the rest of the video, man. But, but the most important thing today for you to do is hit the like button that really helps the channel grow that shows youtube who's really digging the content who want to see more content and they're gonna push the videos a lot more so right now hit the like button so with all that being said let's jump right into this video man let's get it all right so i seen that the lebron 7 uh red carpets are about to drop and i just got back home yesterday so i went to Foot Locker app i tried to go ahead and enter the raffle forum for my size 9 stuff like that but before I could do any of that, the Foot Locker app just kept saying I couldn't log in, kept saying I couldn't log in, and I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if the app was just crashing on my side. I don't know if it was my Wi-Fi. I don't know if it was just my phone in general because, I don't know, lately my phone been tripping. So I just forgot about the whole red carpets for yesterday. And then today I went on to Foot Locker, and then it said they're starting to merge all their stores together under one system as far as getting the shoes. So right when I logged in, they asked me to update my password, and I was like, okay, what is going on? And then I finally went through everything, and then I start seeing that it is seven brands on one account. So you got Foot Locker, you got Lady Foot Locker, you got Kids Foot Locker, you got Foot Action, Champ Sports, East Bay, and Final Score, man. And I was like, what is going on? So my whole thought process was that it's going to be a lot of people that's not going to be able to double up, triple up, and stuff like that as far as the resellers, man. You know, resellers always had like multiple accounts, and they always had the upper hand on copping shoes as far as like the raffles and stuff like that. Now they're putting all seven stores into one account man and like i said I, I don't know how this is going to go i don't know how well this is going to perform for foot locker i know they had a lot of thought process behind this big step but i feel like this is a huge huge step for the whole sneaker community to kind of like get used to you know you used to be able to enter raffle for champs you used to be able to enter raffle for foot locker and all that type of stuff and now all that is dead you know what i'm saying so now you can only get one pair of shoes as far as like men's sizes, if you want to get one pair for GS, you can. And it's going to tell you where you hit at. And my whole process was, what's the point of even downloading like a Champ Sports app? What's the point of downloading a Foot Action app or anything if it's all under one system? So if you want to just download the Foot Locker app, can you just download that one and just keep going along the process of, you know what I'm saying, hitting the Champs, hitting the Foot Action, wherever they raffle you to hit it? Or will you be able to go to Champ Sports and enter a different size and stuff like that? That's my whole thought process. I don't understand why they still have those different apps if they're going to be doing the same thing. As you know, Foot Locker is like the main store and, you know, Champs is under them and Foot Action, of course. So I feel like they should just go ahead and just cancel all the apps and just keep it under one app, either Foot Locker, either Champs, whatever you want to do. Or they can name something different to where all of the apps are kind of like known to be uh, under that raffle system. And another question in my head was, if I am a VIP member at Foot Locker and I'm not at Champs, but I go to Champ Sports and get an extra head minute head start, would that calculate to the 10 minute head starts I would've got at Foot Locker. I was kind of confused about that. I don't know how they're gonna, I guess, mitigate what stores give you the extra minute head starts or anything. I'm just I'm just a little confused on how they're gonna do it. And I guess now if you got a 10 minute head start with Foot Locker, you got a 10 minute head start with Champs, you got a 10 minute head start with Foot Action, and they're gonna tell you where you hit it, which doesn't make any sense at all to me because I remember I never be able to hit a Champs, never being able to hit a Foot Action. Now those faithful buyers that was a Foot Action, that was a Champ Sports, are gonna be end up taking L's. And same with me. I know a lot of people like Champ Sports better. I know some people like Foot Action better, especially where I'm at now. I know a lot of people take W's on Foot Action and Champ Sports. Me, I never took a W there, uh, but I always got a W at Foot Locker. So now I feel like I'm in the same boat as everybody else. I feel like everybody is equal now. I don't know how the VIP membership is gonna work with Champs, because you know it's different from Foot Locker, and you know the one from Foot Action is different from all three. So. I don't understand how they're gonna do this with the whole earning extra minute head starts. So right now in the comment section below, let me know how you feel about this. Let me know if you got any more details about this whole seven brands in one uh, raffle system thing. I'm very interested in knowing. I wanna get a very, very clear cut uh, reason on why they did it. How are they gonna do it as far as like the earning head starts 
and you know what I'm saying, picking you for whatever store you hit it. I'm very confused about it, and I want you guys to help me in the comment section below. So I know there's somebody out there that always comment on their videos that probably know a lot more than I do right now, and it will help a lot of people in the sneaker community as well. So you guys, make sure you go ahead and comment down below. I appreciate you for tuning in. I hope you guys kind of got a general idea on what's going on. If you don't understand uh, why they did this, hey, you're in the same boat as me, because I don't know why they did it either. Subscribe right now to the channel if you have not subscribed already. Hit the like button. Follow me over on Instagram at Defenses World Man. The link will be in the description box below. And like I said, if you have not subscribed yet, you're doing something wrong, subscribe to the channel. Give you guys sneaker reviews, sneaker on foots. I give you sneaker news like this one today, which is kind of crazy. Uh, a lot is about to change, man. A lot is about to change, especially for the resellers. I appreciate all of the support, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.